Hello everyone, my name is Gustavo Puglisi. I'm the boxing coach from Team Quest, and today we're going to be showing you the clinch gear technique of the week. So for today's segment, we're going to show you what goes in the bucket. You all want to watch fights, you realize the corner man take a bucket to the cage or the ring, and you always squeeze what mark goes in there. So there's a couple things very essential for a corner man to take to the cage. Okay, first thing, you gotta have scissors. Okay, we're gonna have scissors. Why? Because sometimes you gotta cut, you know, the ham wraps right in the cage. So we wanna have the scissors ready for that kind of reason. Okay, so scissors in the bucket. Okay, the other thing you wanna have is the cotton swap. Okay, as many as you want. Okay, you can have like five, six, seven. You know, these are uh, good tools to stop cuts and nose bleeds. Okay, you just stick inside the nose and swab around. Make sure uh, there is no blood coming down the nose. And if you have to stop a cut, that goes right in the cut. Okay, and you apply a little pressure to keep the cut nice and clean without the blood coming down the fighter's face. Little cotton swabs out of the way. So to do all these things, you have to have the gloves. Okay, so even commissions. It's mandatory for you to use gloves. And it's just hygiene. You want to have your hands and gloves on so you don't have to touch bare hands on somebody's blood. You know, it's kind of disgusting. So, you got to have the gloves. All right. The session thing two is Vaseline. Okay? This is one thing that you cannot miss. you got to have Vaseline. Okay? Why you need Vaseline? Well, first of all, it protects the fighters from blows that comes to their eyes and they can cause uh, cuts. So what the Vaseline does is make the punch just glance to the guy's skin and it's not just a solid impact right on the bone. So you gotta have Vaseline between rounds. The ice bag, very important. You gotta have the ice. Some fighters don't like the ice on their skin. But it's always good to have ice. Because you know, after a round of a hard fight, the fighter must must be really hot, you know, the temperature is really hot, heart rate is up, so it's a good thing to keep the fighter calm, the heart rate will gradually decrease between the round. So you've got to have the ice bag. Another thing that you want to have is anti swap, okay? This is to decrease the, the, the swelling over or under the eye. This metal is going to be really cold. You place this metal inside the ice bag and you take it out right before the fight. It's going to be really cold, and if there is some swelling going on, all you got to do is apply on, on the swelling region and slowly pressure on the outside of the face so the swelling goes down. It always helps. What you want to have too is a towel. Okay? You want to dry out your fighter. If sometimes there's water around the cage, right where the stool is, so you want to wipe that out. You want to leave the cage wet. Some commissions will always be on your case for that kind of reason. Okay, so how essential to have. <laughs> water bottle. Okay, you gotta have water. Okay, water between rounds. Even for the corner man, sometimes you're yelling a lot. You want to take a little water there. Okay, so you gotta have water. Room temperature water is fine. Some fighters like a little bit of ice in it. It depends from fire to fire. Okay, and finally, stopwatch. Okay. So it's essential to track time on the round so you know what the strategy is going to go on. Thank you very much, guys. This is what goes in the bucket.